The Kanshaya are the dominant species of the Holy Order of the Kanshaya, a political body in the Beta Quadrant. The Holy Order is located a great distance from Federation space and has been a traditional rival of the Klingon Empire for centuries. Physically, Kanshaya are thought to resemble that of Earth's legends of griffins. They are mammalian life forms with six limbs, four legs upon which they walk, and two wings growing out of their back. Ancestrally, these wings were used for flight, but modern day Kanshaya are too heavy for such activities, so now the wings are retained for display purposes only. Gestures of the wings are used to express emotional states. Kinshaya wings are tattooed to show their nobility, with more colorful wings meaning a higher caste. Tattoo colors include blue, black, green, purple, red, and white. The circle is at the center of Kinshaya culture and is considered the holiest of shapes. Kinshayan battleships, flight decks, important rooms, cities, and public meeting areas are all circular. While the Holy Order of the Kanshaya appears to be a military theocracy, their culture appears to be a blend of religious and military caste system. Castes include an archbishop, bishop, vicar, and deacons, each one capable of rising and falling to prominence within the ruling government. The Kanshaya have been at war with the Klingons for centuries. They are too powerful to be conquered, but not powerful enough to pose a major threat. What began the conflict is uncertain, but the Klingons' thirst for conquest and the Kinshai insistence that the Klingons are demons are both likely causes. In the late 2370s, in the years following the Dominion War, the Kinshai renewed their aggression against the Klingon Empire. They started by conquering the Krell and absorbing their resources. In 2380, the newly aggressive Kinshaya engaged in several acts of piracy in the Klingon Empire's Mempa sector. They had also taken to kidnapping Klingon officers and dishonoring them in the eyes of Klingon culture by not allowing them to die in combat. Klingon retaliation cost the Kinshaya their homeworld, but the Holy Order was not seriously damaged by that loss. Soon afterwards, the galaxy was rocked by the Borg invasion of 2381. The Kanshaya took the unprecedented step of reaching out to their neighbors and joining the fledgling Typhon Pact. They also took advantage of the Klingons' post-invasion weakness to conquer Krios, then Hytoria. General Clagg, son of Marak, and the 5th Battlefleet managed to retake the former and discovered the Kanshaya's new alliances when the Kanshayan starship revealed Breen disruptors and Romulan cloaking devices, as well as received support from Gorn, Breen, and Zenkethi vessels. Janawala was one of the oldest colony worlds of the Holy Order, as well as the largest populated world within Kanshaya space following the destruction of the Kanshaya homeworld. The age and population of Janawala allowed it to maintain levels of independence of devotional mysticism and intense individual spirituality rather than the strict orthodox imposed on the Kinshaya homeworld and throughout its interstellar territory. In 2382, Nyamlar Circle served as a staging ground for reformist protests that ended in massacres. The second time the Kinshayan Inquisitors, led by Grand Inquisitor Bishop Resik and his allies, attempted to make an example of these devotionalists. This second massacre was broadcast live throughout the Holy Order. Thanks to the Federation Starfleet Lieutenant Tyresa Shen of the USS Enterprise E, the massacre was ended at the command of Vicar General Tepesor, who began to question the dogma of the Pontifex, leading to widespread criticism of Pontifex Maxima Yacrenda's regime, both inside and outside of Kinshenya life. Lieutenants Jasminder Chowdhury and Tyresa Shen traveled to Janawala with the Romulan Unification Movement to aid the Kinshaya devotionalist movement, led by Yennefer, that sought to end the heretical regime of Pontifex Maximum Yacrenda. The mission was successful. They helped point the entire regime down a path of moderation and forced the Holy Order of Kinshaya to readdress their 
participation in the Typhon Pact and attempt to broker peace with the Klingons and the Federation. This concludes today's Catracark lore video. This was uh, about a species that I kind of came across when I was essentially reading about the Typhon Pact in my encyclopedia and then also online. And this name, the Kanshaya, uh, Holy Order of the Kanshaya, kind of popped up. And I said to myself, you know, what is this? What is the Holy Order of these these crazy giant griffin birds? Um, and it was just one of the things that we've never seen before on screen. And it just was rather interesting and it was surprising to see that there was so much information about this particular race and their importance to the Klingon Empire and the Beta Quadrant but yet we've never heard of them on screen uh, in a major way. So anyways guys and gals I uh, am curious to hear what all of you think about the Kenshaya, the Holy Order of the Kenshaya. What do you think about the concept of having essentially what is a, a religious I guess um, order of both knights and also a caste system that oppresses a group of people in a certain way. What do you guys think about that in the realm of Star Trek? Do you think that that's a fun way for our potentially our, you know, Federation characters, you know, you know, abroad to interact with that uh, and maybe even provide inputs about what it was that was happening on Earth back, you know, a couple hundred years ago, a thousand years ago? Um, do you think that they would be able to help them? Or do you think that, um, you know, the Federation should, you know, stick their nose as uh, elsewhere and leave these uh, leave these people alone. Um, I'm curious to hear what all of you guys and gals think about this. And uh, please throw a like and a subscribe down on the old YouTube if you enjoyed it. And please throw a comment down below if you really want to get into this conversation. I appreciate all of you guys and gals checking out this video. And I will see all of you next time. Live long and prosper, my trickies.